Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm Justin. And this is level two at Winston I Hop, A Dance is Like a Story, week uh, two. And uh, today we uh, we did sort of two more, we added two things to our allegory. Uh, the first thing that we added was the idea of setting, which um, was our idea of music. And so we played a bunch of songs and we asked you to name words about uh, how you would dance the song, what the song means, and then we also danced a little bit and you watched us and you named words about how we were dancing. And I think the important thing that we want you to take away from this is not that we want you to dance like us, but we want you to dance like something. And so listen to the music and come up with an idea about what it's saying and dance like that. Yeah. Part two that we added was the idea of having character and that could be you know, taking on a character that you can picture or just adding different pieces of character to your dance. So we did a couple of different uh, moves with that. The first thing we did was we talked about breaks in the music and uh, that both leaders and followers could initiate. So if Justin and I are dancing, we do a swing out and a break or this move and a break is coming and I can, I'm like, yes, I'm doing this and Justin can join in. It could go the other way where we're dancing. Justin hears the break and Justin has an idea. Justin has a thing and I join in, right? Um, so we talked about the back and forth there and respecting everyone's ideas. Uh, then we did a little variation on the swing out. So we went shua shakira do ba da ba da ba da. From another angle, it looked like this. We went one, two, three, a four step ball change, ball change, ball change. Uh, we put this particularly to the song Viper's Moan. We thought musically it made a lot of sense, and we talked about changing the ba da ba da. So we said we could do walk, 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 walk. We said we could do skate, 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 a variety of things and that maybe you would change it depending on the music or your partner. Then we did a couple other variations. So one of them we was from a tuck turn. It was a follower's variation, changing the tuck turn from six counts to eight counts. And it looked like this. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we said, followers, this is going to feel most satisfying if you do it on, if you end your skates, those hops on the one, or I guess the last hop would be the eight. Um, and so if I were to start my tuck turn on the one, then you would do four. But we also said that you could do more or less depending one, on where I started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. And followers, you're in control of you know, when you end that movement. So if you want to do shorter, you want to do longer, you get to pick. We also talked about uh, how you tuck in to make this move feel good. Right. So um, the way I can get the most rotation is by the most rotation around is by giving myself the most space for that. So by tucking in as much as possible, I have the most like radius to turn around. I can spend the most time doing that turning. And the last thing we said was that uh, in any moment of freedom, as long as both parties are sort of paying attention to each other, um, you can take uh, liberties with the timing. So in the same way that, you know, if I wanted to end the hopping on an eight so that we would start on the one, I could do something similar with maybe a free turn. So we did this tuck turn, shua, shakira, duwa. And I can turn as many times as I want, as long as I communicate with Justin that it's going to end. Um, and maybe that I'm listening to the music too to govern how I do that. And we said that the way that you communicated to me that it was gonna end, the way Rachel's doing it, there are many ways to do it, but a good way to do it is when she takes that triple step at the end, she's really clear and looking at me that it's a triple step. And that's sort of when I realize. Yeah. We also touched on sort of the opposite instead of extending, bringing it back. So let's say we started this on the three, we went one, two, three, four, five, six. I could turn faster and as long as I'm clear to Justin that I'm coming around and Justin's paying attention, we'll be able to connect and keep going from there. So there's some ideas that we tossed out for the story. We're gonna keep building on this next week. See you there. Thanks. Joy.